Hello everyone, we are J-Team here. Today we bring to everyone an American horror film, Hex. Opening the film, Ben went to Cambodia with his cousin to relieve stress after his father's funeral. The scenery here made Ben's mood much better. This place was truly a super resort, cold beer, seafood, music and of course also beautiful girls. Just worry that two people's eyes weren't enough to see them. Right now, a beautiful young white girl passed by them. Ben's cousin bet he didn't dare initiate conversation. Of course this had touched Ben's narcissism, he immediately came over to say hello. But this girl just smiled slightly then left, got on a tricycle and went into the city. Ben was rejected, the mood was a bit sad. In the afternoon, his cousin called him to the bar to drink, and introduced a few girls to him. This time, they met the other girl again, they didn't think she actively came to greet Ben. She also apologized for her impolite time that morning, the two of them started chatting. The girl said her name was Amber Kelly, she had been to Cambodia for a while and rented a room by the sea. Ben was a humorous person, which made Amber extremely amused. Suddenly Amber's gaze became seductive, actively inviting Ben to her room. Then, when she entered her room, she immediately said that she needed to take a shower. As a playboy, Ben naturally knew what would happen next. He was extremely happy, but at that critical moment, Amber changed her face and stopped. She said they had a lot of time for that, so she didn't want to do it tonight. Ben had to leave disappointed. The next day the two continued to date. While walking on the street, a man came to grab Amber's wrist. Two people argued. He said that she had just have s e x with him last night but turned over the next day. Amber always said she didn't know who he was. The two people spoke more and more agitated to fight. Ben ran to knock him down then dragged Amber away. The other guy took a knife to chase them. Then the two hid into an old house. Without thinking of Amber, she was excited to actively ABCXYZ with Ben. The next day, Ben told his cousin that he would stay here for a few more days to stay with Amber. Ben quickly moved into Amber's room. Two people started to live together. In the evening, the two people went to the sand to dance, happily taking pictures. Amber suddenly saw the guy the day before appeared. Strangely, she didn't tell Ben, but she used the pretext to go to the toilet. But now she forgot to take the phone with her. When Ben saw her photo album, he found out that he saw an intimate photo of Amber and her last roommate. But in the picture they were too close. Was Amber a lesbian? So why was she dating him? And where was this Asian girl right now? He had seen this girl's clothes in the room. If she had moved, why not bring any clothes? Ben thought more suspiciously, and Amber in the photo like transforming into another person, looking so charming. Then, Ben vaguely went to the toilet upstairs to find Amber, but he met the guy the day before. They beat Ben. At the moment when he was about to die, something suddenly appeared, beat the others really well. Before fainting, Ben saw a very attractive girl walk beside him, she looked like Amber. When he regained consciousness, it was morning. But now he found himself lying in the middle of the party venue. Amber was lying on the bed in her room. She was having a seizure, looking extremely painful. At the same time, the car door of the guy before had been locked, he could not move. Then, under the control of some invisible force, causing the seatbelt to strangle him to death. After a while, Ben staggered back to Amber's room. She now seemed to have returned to normal. He asked her what happened after all. She just said that she had severe epilepsy. Yesterday she suddenly felt unwell. Because she was afraid to scare him, she left first. Then she cried non-stop again, she feared Ben knew she was sick and would leave. Later, Amber took Ben to see the doctor and heal his injuries. When the doctor saw Ben, his eyes were not very normal. He whispered to him that something was not clean on Amber and reminded him to be careful. After saying that, he secretly gave him a packet of medicine and told him to give it to her. Ben didn't believe in demons, but he also thanked them for their excessive concern with tourists. But after he got home, Ben always felt that something was wrong. Then he came home and always heard a woman whisper or touch him. But when he turned to look, he couldn't see anything. As for Amber, sometimes he felt she was a different person. He looked a little confused. That day, Ben was cooking tea in the kitchen. When the water was boiling and evaporating, suddenly there was a word, go away, on the mirror. Ben thought of what the doctor said now. Was it the truth that something was following Amber? Then Ben also decided to put drugs in tea for Amber to drink. After Amber finished drinking, she started twitching, mouth foamy. Ben called the doctor right away. The doctor came and said that Amber was possessed. Then they started to exorcise her. At this moment, Amber's stiff body suddenly let out other people's sounds. The doctor asked who she was, to which Diona replied. Ben felt this momentum would delay Amber's healing. So he stopped him from exorcising evil, then asked them leave. Amber gradually awakened, she didn't know what just happened. But Amber panicked again, she hugged Ben and cried loudly. And suddenly she saw something on her body so she wanted to take a shower right away to erase. During the shower, Ben discovered a scar on Amber's waist, he asked her what happened. Amber said that she was born as conjoined twins. 
After the separation surgery, she was still alive, but her sister did not survive. Ben asked her sister what her name was, Amber said her sister's name was Diona. Now he started to panic again, he had never experienced strange things like this. The next morning, Ben saw Amber stealthily throwing the Asian girl's clothes into an abandoned well. Maybe she was hiding something? At noon, when they sunbathed on the beach, Amber saw Ben seem worried and asked him what was the matter. Ben said he saw a picture of her and the Asian girl. Asks Amber what the relationship between the two was. Amber now seemed very nervous but also very angry. She said that he should not sneak a look at her photo album. So that two people argued. Amber angrily said that she was bisexual, he couldn't accept it then broke up. Ben could not stand it anymore, immediately left. He went home to meet his cousin and other girls to forget about Amber. The next day, Amber sent him a clip. In the clip she drank a lot of sleeping pills, crying in pain, saying that she couldn't leave him. Ben hurried back to Amber's room to save her. The two hugged each other, vowing never to leave. Then, Amber told Ben that for many years, she always felt inside her as if there was another person who was very relaxed. She suppressed Amber's thoughts, doing unusual things. Like the man last time was a mistake made by that girl, there was also that Asian girl because she controlled her. Then the other Asian girl just disappeared. But she did not dare to tell him. That was why she took the Asian girl's clothes away to erase her influence on her. Amber said she knew a doctor deep in the mountain named Darais. His ability was very good. She wanted to ask him to help and Ben also wanted to go with her. Then the two of them drove into the mountain. But Darais was truly capable. After a while he said that another of her, Diona, was Amber's dead sister. If she wanted to get rid of the devil, she had to cut off Amber's belly. Ben disagreed because it would be dead, except for haunted. Darais said there was another way, but he needed Ben to coordinate. He immediately agreed. Then they tied Amber to two pillars, behind her was two people wearing goat masks. Ben, holding a knife, stepped aside, once the devil got out, he led him into the mountain goat. Ben just needed to kill the mountain goat to solve the curse. After the others left, the formal ceremony began. Without waiting long, the demon Diona quickly appeared. Ben panicked and dropped the knife to the ground. Diona strangled him. At this point, Amber cut her own neck with a knife to save him. Diona was about to disappear when Ben ran to Amber, it immediately merged with him. At this point, Amber should have died suddenly knocked Ben out. After waking up, Ben found himself hanging upside down in the cave and watched Amber chuckle away. Turns out Amber was a lesbian. After getting to know the Asian girl, she immediately decided to come here except ghosts. But except for the failed ghost, the other girl was also killed by Diona. Amber later learned that. If she wanted to succeed, she had to take Diona into another person, then gutted them out. So Amber shook hands with Darais and the other doctor ensnared Ben, tricked him into becoming a new host. At the end of the movie, Darais' assistant took a scalpel, gutted Ben out and killed Diona. Poor Ben did not die in the hands of demons, but died because of human selfishness. Amber and Diona, who was the devil in the end? Have different thoughts in the same person? Maybe Ben's lover is Diona and the one who rejected him is the Amber he knows. It was Diona who saved him when the others beat him at a party. And she herself warned Ben to leave the house while boiling water. So this movie tells us that men and boys go out to be safe too.